There is literally no more iconic name in the snowmobile business than Indy. Polaris landed the first Indy way back in 1979, and since that time the name has become synonymous with lightweight, great handling, superb ride, and outstanding performance. In model year 2013, Polaris decided to reintroduce the Indy moniker using a hybrid chassis with a 600 Liberty clean fire engine. The move proved wise. Last year, the all-new Indy 600 captured the imagination of thousands of buyers, and even though many of them were too young to remember just how iconic the Indy truly is, they were more than tickled to get a high-value snowmobile for a silly low MSRP. In model year 2014, Polaris did what most of us expected them to do. They slid their 150 plus horsepower 800 Liberty Clean Fire Twin into the Indy platform. Then they proceeded to position it at a price point that is quite literally stupid. There is way too much stuff here for this little jing. And more importantly, there is way too much performance here for a price this low. To get to the price point Polaris targeted, some stuff had to be rethought reworked and removed. There's no question Indy series sleds differ significantly from the flagship Rush models with their unmistakable ProRide external shock suspensions. Upon closer examination, there's other tweaks setting the Indy apart from Rush models. There's a rationalized instrument cluster, no electric fuel gauge, a conventional tunnel with an internal shock rear skid, and a one-inch lug track. Sounds like a lot of stuff got pulled from the Indy 800. However, does the Indy 800 need a deeper lug 125-inch camel sneaker? Do frogs fart on lily pads? Does the new gauge cluster require a neutron microscope to read the digits? Do chickens have lips? Here's a better question. Is the Indy 800 SP fun to ride? The answer to that question is a resounding yes. The Indy 800 possesses the magic dust DNA of an 80s Indy. The sled feels super light because it is. The old IQ bulkhead was more than 20 pounds heavier with an 800 than the Rush front clip. The Rush Pro Ride is about 15 pounds heavier than the complete Indy rolling chassis. The result? Flickability on trails just like the original lightweight all aluminum Indy. Throw in Polaris variable caster IFS with its near perfect turn in and rock steady on center feel, and there's legitimate rationale for calling this thing an Indy. Luke and AJ gave me this test ride assignment because they know I know Indies. Unfortunately, an increasing number of our viewers were nothing more than twinkles in their mums and dads' eyes when the Indy took over the snowmobile industry. So you look like you know what you're doing and can behave like a true Indy aficionado, I will demonstrate here on Snow Tracks TV how we position the Indy's weird lawnmower gas gauge while refueling to keep snow off it. If snowmobiling is about fun, and it surely is, rest assured the new Indy 800 SP is giggle till the ice cream comes out your nose fun. Take note, this thing is seriously fast. Maybe the fastest 800 this year. We're not sure yet. We do know this. The Indy 800 will pass the C-Note down Kevlar Lake faster than you can zip up your 1990 Indy leather suit. So you want to know if the Indy 800 SP rides as good as the Pro Ride Rush. Of course it doesn't. This skid began life in the original Edge, then morphed into the IQ. It has copious rear arm travel, it is two-way coupled, and it uses a torque link on the rear arm. It has to be more than coincidence Polaris has been able to draw on so much of the Indy's original DNA with the new Indy. The sled shifts out, freewheels, and finger walks past 100 per, just like my 89 Indy 650. Yes, riding ergos are dramatically different, and make no mistake about this, 80s Indies didn't ride this well. Still, handling here is more than reminiscent of the trailing arm Indy chassis. You can back the Indy 800 into turns and it'll stay laser level until the carbides get positive bite. At that moment, the sled rotates and carves a buttery smooth arc past the apex. Just as indicative of the original Indy is the ability to control inside ski lift by simply moving your upper body. For me, it's hard not to get a little misty-eyed around the Polaris 800 Indy SP. 
There's a ton of history, my history, tied up in that handle. However, once I swing a leg over this snow bullet and pull the trigger and it begins to push me off the back of the seat, my eyes start to dry out. For sure, there are some compromises demanded by the new Indy 800. However, I'm positive your wallet is going to be happy to make them.